Hello neighbors and friends, Stephen here with eTrailer.com. Folks, today we're looking at our Bulletproof Hitch. It's a two ball ball mount made for a two and a half by two and a half inch hitch shank receiver tube. And it has a nice built-in offset. So folks, again, two balls. It's gonna let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle and have the option of the two inch or two and five sixteenth inch ball sizes. Now, as far as the weight rating, the tongue weight on the whole thing is 3,000 pounds max. The two inch ball is rated at 12,000 pounds max towing capacity, while the two and five sixteenths ball is rated at 22,000 pounds max towing capacity. Now, zooming in here to get a better look, again, two and a half by two and a half inch shank here. Uh, just keep in mind, I've got it mocked up here uh, just for demo purposes, but these are five eighths of an inch uh, hitch pin holes. There is no hitch pin included that is sold separately. I highly recommend you buying a locking hitch pin just to protect your investment here today. Now again, you can flip this over depending on how you want to do it and use it. It is a uh, total weight of 53 pounds, so it is kind of heavy. Just keep that in mind when you're using it. The pins here have a nickel undercoating and a heat treatment with a zinc top coat to so resist corrosion and that kind of stuff and endure the strength. You do have lots of adjustments here, seven total. Keep in mind, every two is one adjustment because there's two pins. The whole thing is SAE J684 certified. And it's gonna be ideal for vehicles with about 20 to 21 inches of ground clearance from the bottom of your hitch receiver tube to the ground. You can use it in the rise or drop. The rise will give you six inches of rise. The drop will give you four inches of drop. As far as some quick measurements, the gusset and everything, this guy up here, I believe is right at six inches. Yeah, so this top gusset here is six inches tall. The bottom gusset is right about eight inches tall. Now I will put up some dimensions here on the screen for you. Keep in mind that's a whole lot of them from the manufacturer and there's just a whole lot there. You can pause the video if you need to see some of those uh, longer and whatnot. Going back to it, some of the most important ones from the center of this back pinhole to the front face here, I was getting about 18 and a quarter, give or take. I'm sorry, I was getting 15 inches, whereas the overall height was right about 18. Now, going from the inside hole center out here, I was getting right about 13 and a half inches overall. So again, that's from the center of the pinch hole out to the outside here. And again, you can go back to the video and look at all those dimensions individually and get whatever you need off of them. Very nice, heavy duty, super, super strong, bulletproof hitch. Again, everything's been heat treated. It's got a nice matte black powder coat finish. It's gonna resist corrosion and that kind of stuff. And once again, you can simply flip over by pulling the two pins out, flip the ball over to give you the two and five sixteenth inch option. The gussets here, if you're wondering, are three eighths, or I'm sorry, yeah, three eighths of an inch thick, while the channel here is a quarter inch thick. So the gussets have been welded on very, very strongly. And again, you can flip this over. It's a nice 53 pounds. There we go. And let's say you had to use it in the rise for whatever reason, get a tall trailer or something. So again, lots of versatility here. Now we got the two and five sixteenth inch ball on top. One last thing to mention before I go, it does come with some bulletproof hitch lube. That's mainly for the balls and maybe some on the shank. You wanna always make sure you grease up the ball on any ball mount you own. That helps keep the inside of the coupler nice and spinning free when you make turns. It is gonna make it a little bit quieter. You won't have a lot of that squeaking and stuff that you hear. And then same thing, sliding the hitch in and out. I know a lot of people don't do that because who likes to get greasy and dirty, right? But honestly, if you, for whatever reason, didn't grease this and left it in the back of your hitch for, I don't know, maybe a year or two, sometimes it can rust in place or just get corroded in place over time just from normal wear and tear and weather and whatnot, even with that nice powder coat finish. So again, recommend a light coat of grease. Uh, it's gonna save you heartache in the future. Trust me, I've been there, I've done it. It's not fun hooking a chain to this and then to maybe a tree trying to pull it out. So again, do yourself a favor, lubricate it per the manufacturer's instructions and you shouldn't have any problems. 
Well, folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for our look today together. I'm Stephen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.